Now, Kate was saying she likes feeding them, Nigel. Is it Mrs. Kate's fault? Mrs Tibbs comes to the window of our friend's house in Whitstable, taps on the window, has some bread, Is that goes the her merry way. That is a problem. There's, there's oh. three big gulls, herring gulls, lesser blackback, greater blackback gulls, greater blackback gulls, they keep away from us. But the other two, if ah. you feed them... Whenever they see a person, they think maybe they've got food. <laughs> they dive We're being swooped. Here's one here. This is a herring gull, so it's, it's got the pink legs, and this is one of the main it's wonderful culprits. But it's, it's here. Can we you see them. how we're operating, Mr. Gull? <laughs> no Let's expense just have spared. a little look. Um, I don't know if you can get it. No there expense we go. spent. We are absolutely on board with how technology. Long did, how long so did you go this to is Media right. College for this, Ian? <laughs> Weeks. Yeah. But, of, is, but um, of course, this isn't life size. Is this is much, the worrying This one. is a herring gull, so that but the must... wingspan is 1.4 metres, so they're big, big birds, and they've and got a mustn't... big hooked beak. And this is the one you mustn't. Um, well, we don't feed. want to feed any of them. So let's well, talk about. Okay, two, let's can... talk about. No, no, you can't. Just stop feeding seagulls. Okay, Kate, go away. I'm trying to get clarity. It, the thing about it, it's difficult because we lose our bond with nature, and to have a wild animal coming down, I love doing it to, mm. to coming down to feed you. But then, if there's an old age pensioner with a stick and he's dive bombed, yeah. somebody was injured recently because he fell over because the people are frightened because of Hitchcock's The Birds. Nigel, what about a cull? Is a cull the answer? I don't think a cull's the answer because actually gull numbers are down by 50% are across they? the whole of the UK, herring gulls as well. That's because we're overfishing, we've closed off landfill sites, so they're coming into the cities, that's the problem. Mm. They're nesting on the flat roofs, they get a good living from McDonald's thrown out and other fast food, they break into dustbins, people feed them, and they're doing very well in the cities. Because but the we disrupted their natural habitat, Exactly, in sense. Yeah. yeah. But the saviour could come from another gull, the great blackback gull, which is the largest gull in the whole world, which we've got in Britain, and that's got a massive wingspan. It would come wingtip to the ground, it would come up to wow, here on me, goodness. and they feed on other gulls, and they've just started nesting on the roof, so they may start culling them. And another way is if you need to get permissions, but here's a, this is a lesser blackback egg. Herring gull eggs look the beautiful. same. A beauti beautiful object. And they lay one or three. Now, if they're nesting on your roof, and like Simon Cow, you've got little dogs, they will defend their nest. They will defend their chicks. So maybe you should take the eggs, get permission to do it. It's quite easy to get a licence. They're not highly protected. And eat the eggs, so they could be controlled by gastronomy. So These are, are very able... tasty. Six, ti six times more protein than a hen's egg. Wow! So seagulls eggs are quite impressive. tasty. I'll give that back to you before it Thank breaks. You. It. But it's an interesting one, isn't it? Because the idea of cutting them or cutting down the numbers, but you say we're down fifty percent already. Yeah, herring gulls and and it's lesser about black trying back. to help change the behaviour really rather than cutting them down. Yes. Okay.